It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Tennessee Titans. Coming up next. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Today we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Tennessee Titans. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And off we go from Nashville. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. And when you come into the league as the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. Sometimes that weight can be unbearable. But this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second, third reaction play and create downfield. One, one, ready? Throwing on the first play from scrimmage, here's Burrow. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Boyd. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Just need a yard here, second and one. Burrow looking to pass. Over the middle complete, Brad Smith. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 43. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. And Burrow going to slide to the ground as he does pick up the first down. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 24 now, here's the second down and six. Burrow throw. And he backs it away and it falls down incomplete. 
see both of them trying to get him to put the out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They moved it well, but here's third down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Now Burrow. Burrow's throw into the hands of Sample. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On second down, here's Mixon. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Mixon is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. As they've got it as we resume action. Here's Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Touchdown, a great play there, laying himself out in the end zone. And the Bengals post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And his task in this situation is making sure that his team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. On first down, Levis. A short throw taken in by a conqueror. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second down and six now from the 26. Now Levis. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. 
They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Levis's throw pulled in by Hopkins. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Here's the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. So from the 37, here's second down and three. Levis from the gun. And a catch made by Hopkins. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 26. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. First and ten, here's Levis. Caught by his tight end, Wesco. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now second and three. Levis sets up to throw here. He finds Hopkins complete. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Levis to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's second and ten. They'll throw it again with Levis. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. Here's Levis. And this is going to be incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Folks, kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is, heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break. You obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. The 
lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Bengal offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Now it's Burrow. That's taken in by Higgins. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. First down, Bengal. So we have reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Bengals out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And we will not see a return to start the half, as this will be a touchback. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. But, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. That one's taken in by Spears. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 46. A handoff on the left, Henry. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Across the line and to the ball quickly there, Trey Hendrickson. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game. And this won't help things either. A loss on that play. Second down, here's Levis. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Third and short, it's Levis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that they're very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. A first down carry for Henry. 
This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Now that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Now second and five. Little bootleg here, Levis. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Henry will take this into the end zone for the Titans touchdown. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Nick Fulton for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25, as he will not attempt to return. So here are the Bengals now, as they get their first possession of this second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Now Burrow. This pass complete to Higgins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 17 at a Cincinnati first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. It's Mixon on the counter, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. 
That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Burrow able to find Sample. That's complete. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Ball on the 39. Here's second and five. Now it's Burrow. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. I saw the party had an open work beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that was sending back to the draft board. On the very outer edge of field goal range, it would be 56 yards if they got nothing here on third down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And he is caught, and he is going to have a Bengals first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Burrow looking to pass. This one hauled in by Sample. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. This is caught. And they showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Second down, goal to go. Mixon trying to punch it in. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon punching it in from a yard away. And the Bengals answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of run there. So Levis and the Titans now down 14-10, a minute 53 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Levis. Gets it to Burks. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. 
They come up now on second and two. Levis. Gets this to Moore. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got a hustle. They got to get to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Levis, he'll look to throw it. This one downfield to Burks. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play and get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Here's first down. Levis to throw. He gets it to Burks again. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Now first and goal. Throwing now, here's Levis. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. game this has been and what a drive that was Charles to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter and partner that's a job well done by everyone from the players to the guys calling the plays and if I may introduce just one downside to the mix might be a little bit too much time left enough on the clock for a final last ditch effort to try and steal this win away extra point up and good by Folk so it's now a three point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And now on the focus, it shifts to the Bengals. Trailing by a field goal, 40 seconds to go. But they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Throwing, Burrow. That's complete to Chase. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Here's Burrow. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This is first and ten. A draw play for Mixon. 
Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left, and a field goal would send us to overtime. So a precious spot here for Evan McPherson. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime because neither one got an advantage today. So it'll be the Bengals with the football here to start the overtime session as the kick is away. And no return here to begin the overtime session. That'll be a touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, do, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Short gain there to start overtime. Almost a tester play, wasn't it? Wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime. So it's not just physical tiredness out there, right? Mentally, are you still doing what you're supposed to do? And they were up to the task on that play. And certainly fatigue on both sides of the football. Short completion, just four yards. And now we've got a third and four. Search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Burrow throw. Oh, and that's so close to being intercepted. That could have been a big turnover in overtime if he had held on. Instead, though, it is still fourth down. The temptation to go for it probably there always is, especially in overtime. Got to punt it, though. I think you're right. I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially put a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because 
any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. And now we'll see what Levis can do in overtime. And oh, it caught down. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw. It's knocked away and incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here over time. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 43. A great job there, and that old cliche taken with the defense gives you comes right into play. Nothing too out of the ordinary about the throw. Just a little dump off over the middle. But what it is out of the ordinary is what he did with it after the catch. Not only did he grab the ball, but how about the significant yardage he picked up after he pulled it in? So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 43. Levis now off of play action. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Sam Hubbard making his presence felt in the backfield. He saw the pressure and he got out, but he never got upfield. And the defense, they took full advantage of a rookie mistake there. They were able to add a big loss on the sack. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Draw play. This is Henry. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Out of the gun to Google Spears. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Two, we need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
This being their second opportunity in overtime, third overall drive, see if they can settle into a rhythm. And that's what you're looking for. Get a few first downs, move the ball downfield, have some confidence, get yourself in a spot where you can at least kick a field goal to win it. But I tell you this, if I'm the play caller, I'm looking at that part of my sheet that says playmakers. Get the ball in their hands, critical situation, now's their time. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face, good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help throw some of those incompletions. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Burrow. That's complete to the tight end sample. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's second and five now from the 37. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Out to the left. He's got Sample there. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Now it's Burrow. He finds his man complete. That's Hudson. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And they'll come up second and seven. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 61 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. Partner, this is a pretty good drive they're putting together. And I know if I'm on the other sideline, that offense, kind of helpless, isn't it? Because they may not touch the football at all because they go down and score a touchdown. This thing's over. Absolutely. That would write an ending to this script. We'll see what happens. Back to Mixon on first down. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll stay on the ground, mixing again. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the ten. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. So all eyes now locked on Evan McPherson. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And now an all-rest on the right foot of their kicker. 
This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good. And they have won it here in double overtime. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Nashville.